Okay, so now that we've created that library file, we need to add it into Sure Cuts a Lot so that it appears in this drop down here. Okay, so I'm going to click on File and I'm going to go to Add Scal Library. And then I'm going to browse to the location that we saved that library file to, and it's on my desktop. I called it New Library. I'm going to double click, and that's it. It added it. Now let's check our work. If we go under Shapes and click on the drop down, we can click on it. There it is. It's called My Favorites because that's the name that I gave it. Okay, and there they are. There's the new files that I added, and now they're available to use in this library. All right, so as I mentioned before, in addition to being able to see and use all of these different libraries, you can also take one that you really like, like My Favorites, and you can hit the little heart with the plus sign next to it to add it to your favorite list. Okay, so I just click the heart with the plus sign. Now if I click on this drop down under Favorites, you'll see that that's the only one listed. Okay, so if I go back to All, and I click on Spring, and hit the plus sign with the heart on it there, and then click on favorites, you'll notice that we have two, spring and my favorites. Now this is handy if you have a lot of different libraries that you know you don't always use and you just wanna bring up a list of the favorite ones that you use more frequently. This will help you sort the list a little bit faster. Again, when you have favorites selected, you can also remove libraries from your favorite list by clicking on the minus sign with the heart on it just like any font or SVG file. An element inside of a library file can be clicked on to be added to your mat, and then you can use any of these options here to manipulate its shape, to add a shadow, and so on and so forth.